Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic. Today with a video tutorial on how to create your first Slack bot. So first of all, what is Slack? Slack is a simple communication tool to chat with your complete team. If you use it at your work, you might know it. It's really amazing. It has gotten a lot of attention in the last time. So go to slack.com and create a new team if you have not done so. And once you've done this, you should be able to log into your team. You should see your channels and well, in general, you should have it ready. So, and then we want to create a bot which can react to things we say in those channels. So we want to say hello and the bot should react with something. So it's not really hard, but it's a bit tricky. So follow my tutorial. Okay, first of all, we need a little server. So first of all, let's create a package JSON. Okay, I already copied this, I think. All right, so here it is. We have a name for our package. This is a Node.js package and we have a main file and we have some dependencies here declared. You can find all those things also on my blog. So if this is too fast, just go there. Additionally, we want to have an app.js, which will be our server. And there are some things we have to set up before we can actually start with our bots. So it will be an express server. We have a simple body parser. I'm not even completely sure if we need this for this tutorial, but well, it's fine. And we obviously got our app and we want to run on whichever port we get from some environment variables or on this epic special port so now we can use our body parser we created and set some URL encode oh is this right I hope so URL encode URL encoded this way all right. Or is there any problem? No, I don't think so. App use body parser dot URL encoded. All right. Next, we make a simple testing route so you know your server's running and everything's fine. If you're already experienced with Node and a simple server, you don't have to do this. This is nothing we need for our bot. But it's always good to have some sort of health check. All right. And finally, our app needs to listen to incoming requests on our port. And to be sure, listening on port all right okay so that's the base of our simple server we need to install our module soron npm install which will create a folder called node modules and this is quite fast so go ahead and type node app.js which will start the server and it listens on port 1337. Okay, you can test it. So 
it is local host 1337 and there it is so everything works as expected right now now we come to our bot so this bot will listen on a post request to slash hello and once we receive a request we can actually get the username from this request because this will come from slack and the body will contain the name of the user so then we create a simple JSON response which we can send back to slack which just contains a text saying hello whoever called me welcome to the didactic slack channel have fun all right i hope all those things until here are very clear so now we need just need to return this but i experience that there's let's say a little problem because somehow you can fall into an infinite loop which is not that funny if you have desktop notifications enabled in slack so it will just blink the whole time until you can shut down your server finally so please add this if statement or tell me how to prevent this case otherwise oh sorry all right so if this is not a select bot calling this function we can return our payload we created here okay i hope this is clear so far nothing special right now now we need to deploy our server somewhere in the internet because when we just launched this one local slack won't be able to contact it so what we're gonna do is we want to upload our simple Slackbot server to Heroku. I don't know if you know this. I already got this open here. It's really easy to power up machine there. And so if you want this, please sign up for free. It's really, really great. And also make sure to install the Heroku tool belt, which we will use to upload our app. This is really amazing fast and yeah, it's free. So use it. Otherwise, if you have any other server, you can use that one as well. So just make sure you can upload and start your server somewhere. Okay, we need to create this prod file saying node app and this file will tell Heroku to start a web context and use this command to init our app nothing more at this point all right we're in our folder we can stop it and now we need to call git init because we need to push this as a repository to Heroku. So git init, git add dot, adding the folder, git commit, whatever you want to say. And now the fun begins. Heroku create, which is, oh, come on. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, let me fix this. All right, so I deleted some like they want me to, so now we can create it. 
Okay, it's added and now we just need to push our master to Hiroko. And let's wait what happens. So first of all it gets uploaded and once this is done we will see or hopefully see the output from Hiroko which will start a new context. Yes, the node app.js is detected, creating a runtime environment, doing a lot of things, the build succeeded. And finally, this is the URL you need to copy. And as you can see, we're receiving our hello world. So if this is working, you're almost finished. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to go to our settings for our Slack team and select integrations. Then scroll down to outgoing webhooks and add an outgoing webhook. There are other ways I know but for this simple tutorial this is really fine and all we need. Okay, so now we can select what we want. We want to listen to any channel. So all the messages are somehow filtered and once a line starts with hello, we want to call our Hiroko server and use the post route we created called hello. Okay, you can give it a name. It's obviously Kundalini and it's also obviously where is it my favorite one there the ghost okay i guess this should be everything we need right here so if you go to configured integrations you should see your outgoing webhook okay i obviously did not yeah i did not save so again sorry Blah blah blah, the Kundalini. Somehow the icon is still saved. Interesting. Okay, whatever. No problem. By now it should be configured, hopefully. Yes, when a message starts with hello, we make a post to our Heroku app. Perfect. Let's give it a try. So I go to a channel wherever I am this is me and I say hello all good morning and instantly our Kundalini bot says hello Simon welcome to the Devtactic Slack channel have fun and as you can see this was really fast and really easy I know this is not a big deal right now but you can do a lot of things and you can optimize your complete processes using slack and integrations and bots and let me end this video with some marketing i'm currently working on a course called mastering slack so go to devtactic.com slash course slash mastering minus slack and make sure you register for the pre-launch list because this course will be really really awesome step-by-step -step tutorials and saving you a lot of time and also bringing you a lot a lot of fun so if you like my tutorials I would be really happy to see you on this list and I hope you also like slack so if you have any wishes or whatever your thoughts about slack please tweet me or leave me a comment i would be really happy to get some feedback from you guys because you're an awesome audience and i really like you so thanks for your support i hope you liked our kundalini bot and see you next time